pace 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 p
was a refrigerator. Ah! Oh, that's so much better. Have you ever done that? No. You should try it. I don't think. That's the point. No thinking. You and me, together now. One, two, three. I suppose it's a release, if that works for you. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> I think I need to sit down for a minute. I'm exhausted. I'm not sure about the red. Why? Not my thing. My mother always said only that kind of girl wears red. You won't be wearing it. I should have listened to my mother. That first night in my dorm room, I wore red panties. I lost my virginity. You won't be wearing it. But still, you listen to me now. I don't know you very well, but I see strength. Red is strength. You are strong. You are red. Me? I'm blue. Weak. My mother always said, I was weak. <laughs> I'm so weak. I could think of a million things I would have liked for my birthday. But I asked for a refrigerator. Because we had to eat. I had to eat. So I asked for a refrigerator and he bought a boat. A red motherfucking boat. How would we get it out of the water? We're strong women. I think the two of us... I doubt that. What do you mean? You're exhausted after screaming. So? Screaming is hard work. Then why do it? Are you trying to be difficult? Repeat after me. I am woman. Hear me roar. Roar! I'm definitely not a roarer. Yes, you are. Say after me. I am woman. I'm not a roarer. Say it! I am woman. I am woman? Louder! I am woman! That's it. Hear me roar! I am woman! Roar! Ah! Roar! Roar! Ah! Wow, 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 wasn't that something? <laughs> now. Let's see what we can do about the boat. Is that, is that him? Oh yeah, that's the cocksucker. What happened to his face? The fish, they like the eyes. Here fishy fishies, come on, eat up fishies. You're going to be big and fat and beautiful. It is really beautiful here. I sit on this bench and sing to the birds, and they sing back to me. Sometimes I jump in and swim. It makes me feel one with nature. Maybe tomorrow I'll jump in and hack off his arms so the fish can get to the meat. Also, his hand is still clutching the boat, rigor mortis. You know, we'd never get it out. How did he get in there? It was there? an accident! As soon as I saw the boat, I thought, there goes my refrigerator. So I picked up this big old dead branch and then there he was, dead in the water. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> dead in the water. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I think I'd better get going. I'll give you a good bargain. How much? It's worth a thousand, I looked it up. 
You listed it at 500. I just want to get rid of it. How about 700? I wish it wasn't red. Stop with the red. It's a good boat. I spent the whole afternoon looking it up on Google to get the price. Google gets me confused and depressed. And then I start to drink. And and I do things I regret. I Google the refrigerator the morning of the accident. But I don't regret it. I wanted a refrigerator! A motherfucking refrigerator! 600. This has been lovely, but the red is wrong. What are you saying? I think I'll skip it. What are you saying? Sorry to take your time. Please don't do that! I'm sure you'll find someone. You can't do that to my refrigerator! (laughs) Here, fishy fishies. Thank you for listening to this episode of Vocal Canvas. This limited series podcast was made possible by the East Brunswick Public Library. Playhouse 22, Next Gen Acting, our really, really creative community writers, and our fabulously talented voiceover cast from New Jersey. Hope you enjoyed and tune in next time.